Uh, hello and welcome. In this video, I want to touch base one more time on uh, licensing for Power VA because it uh, seems to be quite a confusing topic. Um, anyway, what Microsoft offers, there are two options of using uh, Power VA agents. One option is to have a standalone subscription or another option is to use it as a part of, as Microsoft says, select uh, Microsoft 365 subscriptions. I'm not sure what exactly select means, but probably it's something to do with, uh, you know, with the channels where these uh, bots are published. So if you have a subscription which includes Microsoft Teams, you should be able to use it uh, technically, uh, right? Of course, the best channel would be to get in touch with Microsoft support. Maybe they give you specific detailed information about it but uh, in general um, I'll show you how it looks from the uh, admin center so if I go here to powervirtualagents.microsoft.com and start a free trial what happens is that in my admin center automatically I get one more product uh, which is uh, here Microsoft Virtual Agents a trial and this is uh, you know how many licenses I signed purchased quantity um, yeah so uh, this is how it looks if you go to, um, to this area and uh, also you know I, I can um, create a, a license uh, and power virtual agents etc so let me delete this subscription so you get an idea how it looks like I remove this subscription, right? So now I do not have a special uh, separate Power VA subscription, uh, but I have this uh, E3 developer trial, which includes Microsoft Teams as a part of the subscription. And then if I go to my uh, Teams, right, I uh, click here and search for power virtual agents so basically from teams interface i'm still able to add uh, power virtual agents and yeah you see i have a one test agent created in the all staff team and you know i can make more chatbots so um to me, it looks like if you create chatbots directly from MS Teams, let's give it a name, test to create, then you get options of using it internally for your company uh, without uh, buying additional uh, licenses which are available you know if i look here under purchase services right under business apps i see this power virtual agent option which gives me 2000 sessions per tenant per month and this is the cost of the license if i click on the details you see uh, i get an option you know to buy this either monthly or yearly or I get two uh, add-ons for this. So uh, you see there is a add-on for 1,000 sessions per tenant per month. And then there is uh, Power VA user license trial. So it looks like if you use this option, then you buy the tenant license. This is the cost for the tenant license. And then you can also add some agent user licenses additionally um, but if you use VA directly if you have MS Teams subscription and you add it directly through MS Teams interface then you should be able to um, to use it um, so I think that should be helpful in terms of uh, licensing of course I can be wrong you know uh, 
as I mentioned, the best way is also always to contact support. And if they cannot figure it out, just ask them to escalate it to the next level until <laughs> you figure it out. Um, but uh, yeah, so I hope this information has been helpful and you have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Bye bye.